guitar. Thanks for joining us today for our lesson on Upside Down by Jack Johnson. He wrote it for the movie Curious George and uh, I think they, they hit the bullseye with hiring Jack to do uh, the soundtrack. I sort of grew up in high school with Jack Johnson being the, the big new thing and he really uh, was a great inspiration for guitar because I think he was discovered by Ben Harper who I'm also a big fan of and Jack had this really, uh, or he still does, has this really um, great strumming style, a lot of muting, a lot of, um, you know, just playing with his fingers and just a nice soft strumming style. And it really taught me a lot about strumming. You know, I learned his songs Flake and uh, Brushfire Fairy Tales, etc. And so uh, this one is just also a great example of strumming. So if you want to get better at strumming, which I highly recommend, check this lesson out. Uh, check the tab out on the Patreon uh, for the lowest level. You can download the tab, and I appreciate your support. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell and the thumbs up. And uh, other than that, let's get started. All right, so we've only got two chords in the intro and verse. Um, so the harder part is going to be strumming. So let's just start with the chords. You've got E major, F sharp minor. Sharp minor two four four two two two, and that's it for the uh, intro and verse. For the chorus, we just add A and B. So there's four chords in the chorus: E, F sharp minor, A and B. For the bridge, there's one last chord, and that's G sharp minor, just F sharp minor two frets up. So five chords in the entire song, right? So obviously, we're going to spend most of our time uh, strumming here. And, you know, Jack played without a pick, and the muting is happening on the uh, second and fourth beats, right? Which is where the snare would fall. So uh, a lot of times on guitar, we can mimic percussion a little bit. So we're going to start with down, up, mute. Down, up, mute. And the mute is down. Now what I recommend is just view the strumming as constantly moving. I'll show you what I mean. If I play this first line here. Okay. I'm always moving my hand. And that's kind of going to help you. You know, if, if you think of everything as down and then up, it might be a little bit... Um, Non, non musical or unnatural sounding. Whereas if you just are moving your wrist and you count one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, and the downs fall on the one and two and, and the ups fall on the E and the uh. So one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a mute. Up, 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 mute. Okay, so. Hopefully that makes sense. You can count out these subdivisions. One E and a mute. Sorry. 
one e and a mute. Okay, one e and a two. So down, up, mute, and then three ups in a row, and then a mute, then up, down, up. Okay, so that's down, up, mute, up, 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 mute, up, down, up, repeat. little bit slower. Ready? Three E and a four E and a down. Up mute. Up, up, up mute. Up, down, up, repeat. Okay. So uh, the F sharp minor is the next line here and it's very similar. So it's down, up, mute. And for muting, you know, you just, it's a left hand thing. So if I just lift everything, I will, I will have a muted sound. Okay, so down, up, mute, up, 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 mute. Now when you go up, down, up, uh, instead of just playing the regular F sharp minor, Jack does this thing where he lifts the third and fourth fingers, so it's second fret on the three bass strings, kind of as, uh, as a contrast to the F sharp minor. So the whole measure would be down, up, mute, up, 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 mute, up, down, up. See that? And then repeat. So let's do the whole intro here, nice and slow. And try to get that mute on the second and fourth beat with a nice feel here. Three E and a four E and a... Now an optional thing you can do, uh, that, that, that is you know everything right there for the intro and verse, but an optional thing you can do is when you go down, up, you, you can go down, up, down on the mute. So it would sound like this. See, it's down, up, down. Instead of a, instead of a dotted eighth note, it would be three sixteenth notes. So the verse is exactly the same. So why don't I sing just a, a phrase or two just so you can hear the melody as we practice and we'll go also at a slow tempo and then we'll move on to the chorus. Ready? Three E and a four E and a Who's to say What's impossible Well they forgot The world keeps spinning with each new day idea there so work that up and my suggestion is go as slow as you need to go you know nothing wrong with that all right now for the chorus we're going to abandon the muting um, since there's several guitars and actually a ukulele in the recording Jack is still muting in one of the guitars but the, the point is is that if we want to pick up the pace and the energy on one instrument we really should abandon the muting and just kind of go for it uh, with the volume increase. So we're going to do down, down, up, down, down for the E chord on the chorus. Down, down, up, down, down, and then a quick F sharp minor. Up, 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 down, up, down, up. So that's E, down, down, up, down, down. And you kind of want to abandon the E a little bit at the last second. That's nice and slow. Down, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. And then the A chord. Down, down, up, down, down. And then same thing, uh, strumming wise, going to a B. Up, 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 down, up, down, up. That's the entire chorus. So let's take this really slow here. Three E and a four E. Down. Tempo. Okay, good. So again, um, harder than it looks, right? You, you'd think, oh, just a couple chords, but it's the strumming that's tough. So 
Think about playing drums on the guitar. Down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down. All right, that's the magic of, of this stuff. Now for the solo, we have a sixth string open, and then fourth strings, fourth fret to sixth fret slide to fourth fret third string. Okay, so repeat that. Sorry, and then four to six hammer on, and then fourth fret fourth string, two, three, four for a while, and then four to six hammer on twice, back to four. So let's repeat that line. It's all E major pentatonic, believe it or not. Okay, second time starts exactly the same. Differences here it goes uh, two to two to four fifth string and then two to four hammer on. So the second line here would be okay. Get ready for the two to four on the fifth string one, and then it goes back to another verse and chorus. Right, and then after the chorus we have this bridge and it's G-sharp minor, and it's going to be very similar to the verse, right? So, so it's down, up, mute, up, 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 mute, up, down. So, down, up, mute, up, 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 mute, up, down. And then F-sharp minor, same exact pattern. Down, up, mute, up, 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 mute, up, down, down. So even slower. Down, up, mute, up, 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 down, up, down. Up, mute, up, 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 mute, up, down. go to A chord and no muting we're just gonna go down up down down up down down up down down up down B chord down up down down up down back to the chorus so the whole bridge back to the chorus so um, these are, you know, these are the fine details of the strumming patterns. Work it up. Uh, you know, it is, it is not the easiest thing to just get right away, right? So, uh, if you're going to sing it, it's even, <laughs> it's even a little more challenging. So, take this stuff as a challenge, as a way to improve your strumming, and have fun with it. And uh, let me know if there's any questions. Enjoy. All right, well done, everybody. A nice strumming lesson. So uh, go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, the thumbs up. And I really appreciate your support. Other than that, I'll see you next lesson. Bye.